China has been farming fish, or we say aquaculture, for more than 2,000 years. China has the longest history of aquaculture in the world. The total production of China's aquaculture now is about 46 million metric tons. And this figure will have to change in the future. We're getting much bigger. And as the demand for high quality fish protein increases, we'll have to meet that demand from aquaculture. USAC has been providing technical support to China's aquaculture industry for 26 years. And the major mission for USAC is to change China's old traditional aquaculture that uses manure to feed fish to that of modern aquaculture technology by using feed to feed the fish. And the purpose of by doing that is to produce more fed species with high quality uh, fish meat. And by doing this also will make China's aquaculture industry to have better use of water spaces. While to United States soybean farmers, which gives them opportunity to supply more soybeans and the soybean products to the industry to be used in the fish feed. Chinese government has a great concern about food safety and environmental protection. Therefore, it is very important for the USAC to upgrade the existing technology to sustain the aquaculture development in China in the future. We know Dr. Jesse Chapel for so many years. We worked together for about like over 15 years. We know each other very well. He has developed the one technology which is called Intensive Pond Aquaculture Technology. Every year we are escorting China aquatic team to the US. One time, he escorted us to one farm which has the IPA technology. And I found the fish are so happy. They are living in the river flow system environment. And the fish are so healthy. And we thought this is a good technology. The way this IPA technology works is that we literally create a river flow inside of a pond. In this particular case, we started with four ponds. We removed two of the cross levees, retained one that were actually used to help us make the water take the long course around the pond to keep it thoroughly mixed. The fish are contained in what's essentially elongated concrete boxes that have a screen on the front and a screen on the back, and we retain the fish inside. That's where the fed species are. And we're able to maintain them in there in very good condition as the water passes around and around in the pond. We have other species out in open water that graze on the phytoplankton there, but the, the fed species are contained in the raceway themselves. Our company has been in the fishery since the 1960s. Pond fishing in the traditional way has become unsuitable for society's development. Its economic efficiency, environmental safety, and the amount of labor required are now, to an extent, limited in China. So, we are looking for safer, more environmentally friendly ways to replace this practice and are now working with USEC to implement the IPA system. In terms of production value, the traditional pond fishery brings in around 2,000 kilograms at harvest. And now last year with the new IPA system, we surpassed 3,000 kilograms and for next year, we are aiming for 5,000 kilograms at harvest. I'm here this week in China uh, with USEC as our host, United Soybean Export Council, uh, as an ASA director with the American Soybean Association with my fellow United Soybean board members. We're here to see the funding dollars of, uh, of our efforts because these are fund farmer funded dollars uh, into research and development areas where we're working with uh, long-term customers and a long-term effort to feed the world. As, as a farmer, my production schedule with soybeans uh, every other row that I grow is shipped around the world. And China is one of the leading consumers of those so soybeans. Almost 60% of, of uh, exports from the United States go to China. China as a country itself actually 
um, imports more soybeans than all the other countries put together. And now all the fish are fed with the ASA formulated diet or soil-based diet. For the big fish, we use over 55 soybean products in the diet. The Chinese government knows it is very important to produce more fish, but at the same time, they give the priority to the water environmental protection for better living of the Chinese people in the future. From an environmental benefit standpoint, the IPA allows us to manage the, the, the pollution load that we place on the pond. In China, aquaculture is a very big business. So those ponds all across China produce a lot of pollution just by the production of animals and the way they excrete into the water. Well, in this system, we're able to manage that by removing the waste solids as we collect them on the downstream end of the raceway in our, in our trap there. And we're able to then retask those and make them uh, useful in terms of production of methane. It might go for uh, running machines or uh, a cooking stove in a, in a community of people. We also can then take the re resulting uh, solids or dry solids and turn that into a compost that we can use for very high quality fertilizer. So there's a number of things that we can do with this system, it gives us versatility that the traditional system just does not. Water quality is so important for the Chinese government and the Chinese people. The beauty of the IPA technology not only produces more fish, at the same time, it will also help us to clean up our waterways. This system really fits China's situation, and the government is very much supportive to the development of this system. A fishery in ponds with gently recirculating waters, I think I have several good effects for our region. The first is it reduces land resources used. The second is it reduces energy requirements, and even more important is that the safety of the final food product has been greatly improved with this technology. The government is prioritizing this new IPA system as the industry is vital to our economy. So I believe there will be greater development next year and the year after. One of the, one of the reasons I'm so proud of this and pleased to be a part of the development of this technology is that it, its reach is global. Uh, you can stock a wide variety of uh, fish species in this thing and grow them very efficiently and at the same time maintain a high quality environment. It's about things that you know, work good for business, it works very well for the environment, and works very well for the people that live around it. So I'm excited about being a part of this development. With this new IPA system, we've met and exceeded all our safety standards while also increasing our output. I think this new technology is so effective and it will be a revolution for China's traditional pound fishery.